So the science behind the method has shown that how we attend to ourselves is paramount in affecting change. Transformation from movement that is uncoordinated, clunky, even hurtful to perform the movement to elegant, easy, focused and calm movement. Your mind body becomes an embodied working piece of art, integrated. And as I just said before, movement is a way into our thinking, feeling, sensing. And movement is the easiest to change. If you want to go more into those, that concept, Moshe talks about that in his book, Awareness Through Movement, which is a great first book to read if you're just um, discovering this method. So for dancers, it's fundamental to be integrated and well coordinated. If you want to be the dancer that nobody takes their eyes off, we've all seen those dancers, they're just amazing. And you think, wow, how do they do that? Feldenkrais has a way to teach us how to do that. So if you haven't guessed yet, yes, I'm passionate about dance and even more so about the human body. As I've said here, Movement is life is the start of one of Feldenkrais' famous quotes. But I don't have a distinction between dance and movement because all movement can be a dance, a performance at the highest level possible for yourself. Not for me or anybody else, but for you. Asking yourself, what is the most efficient, effortless way to move? And that could be why you're doing the dishes, why you're vacuuming, anything. As Moshe said, there shouldn't be any athletes. We should all be athletes. And I like to say, we are all dancers. We all move. By helping yourself move better, you gain greater well-being and zest for life. Becoming well coordinated in all you do is a dance. 